The Sebastian County Sheriff says on any given day, there's about 20% more people inside the detention center than it was designed to hold. The sheriff says if the sales tax is extended, it will not solve the overcrowding issue, but he says it's critical to operate in the detention center. That tax uh, is imperative for the operations of, of public safety in all of Sebastian County. Sheriff Hobie Runyon says the Sebastian Countywide 1% sales tax pays for 16 deputies to patrol the county and work inside the detention center. Without that, we we would have to look at shutting down some pods. Every city in Sebastian County gets a portion of the tax revenues, including the county government. I know for the county, it makes up about 10% of our budget. And you start talking about the smaller towns, it makes up uh, probably half of their budget or more. So it's definitely critical. 1% of every dollar spent in the county goes to help fund police, firefighters, parks, libraries, and senior citizen centers. The current sales and use tax is set to sunset June 2024. On August 8th, voters will decide if the tax will be extended for another 10 years. The revenues are divided up based on population. Fort Smith gets the most. In 2022, the city received more than $23.5 million from the sales tax. The county received $4.8 million. It's essential for those operations. If we move backwards, it would almost be catastrophic to the operation of the jail and county law enforcement. If voters say yes to the tax for another 10 years, Sheriff Runyon says it will not solve jail overcrowding issues. He says any expansion projects would require additional funding. The detention center is rated to hold 356 inmates, but Runyon says there's often more inmates than beds, requiring some to sleep on mats. I've had two studies that have both said that we should have between 550 and 600 beds in Sebastian County. We probably have, have many programs. We have a diversion. We have specialty courts, probably more than any other county in the state. You know, we do everything we can to put the right people in jail, but at a certain point in time, we're going to have to have more beds. What people forget is we are a community of 130,000, but we're really a community of a quarter million because of everybody that comes into Fort Smith. Early voting will start one week before the August 8th special election. In Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 News.